G'day guys, it's Wolfie here and welcome back to the pack. So today I'm going to share with you guys a special uh, tune that, um, well it's one that I've sort of worked on for quite a while despite the uh, combo that I'm using it in uh, only just becoming available. So PD have finally given us a WTC 900 event for Le Mans, which I think is um, massively overdue uh, and it's an event I really, really like to run, especially in this car. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I love this car, I love this track, I love this combo. Um, so I thought I'd share my tune with you guys. It's not so much a grinding tune per se, but um, yeah, it's a bit of a labor of love um, and I definitely love this car. So I'm going to share it with you guys today. If you are after a, a tune for grinding with the 787B, I've made a tune for the 800 um, events at Sardinia um, which is still still holds up now it was a while ago that I made it but it uh, yeah, still works really really well for um, grinding on that event and is probably just as quick uh, as uh, the Jag tune um, that I made the other day for the Jaguar XJR9 um, but yeah that one's worth a check out as well so give that one a go um, so yeah, look, we're going to take this one to the new event. I know a lot of people are probably going to be using the um, new Toyota GT1. Um, but yeah, you know, once you've had your fun with that, I would definitely suggest giving this car a try because I think it's great for this event and it's great um, for this combo. So as always, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, let's get stuck in. Okay, so first up, we're obviously going to head over to the Legends dealership, the Haggerty Collection, and there's a number of cars, as you can see, available at the moment um, for both Group C and for Group 2 and a whole bunch, um, but the one we're after today is the 787B, this bad boy right here, um, and for 3.3 million credits, it's probably about average um, for this uh, tier of car in the game. Um, it is actually a Le Mans winner, um, despite it not looking the goods, you know, in uh, in practice and uh, in quality, uh, it did go on to win a Le Mans event. So um, yeah, that was that was pretty impressive. And as you'll see, the, the stats on this thing are really really good. It's uh, you know it keeps up quite easily with uh, all of the other Group Cs. The one thing I think that it has in its advantage um, is that a lot of the power, a lot of the torque is in the top end so you're kind of less likely to lose it when it's at full power um, when you're taking off or around low speed corners and stuff there's just slightly less chance of that spin out so we're going to purchase that one and uh, we'll head in and have a look as you can see here there's nothing really to change uh, as far as wheels or external parts so I did change the wheels you don't really have to you can leave the stock ones on if you like um, but there's no uh, changing to be done as far as the rim diameter uh, width or offset or anything like that um, so yeah that's totally up to you what you want to chuck on there and um, as you can see here no custom parts to be added so it's already got all the bits and pieces all the go fast stuff it's ready to go as soon as you just buy your performance parts and do a bit of a tune so as you can see here we've got 898 um, for our performance um, and the performance points you know that they, they're pretty much under 900 regardless so 989 brake horsepower a hell of a lot of torque it's the four rotor here as you can see so it's um, 654 cc's per rotor um, and there's four of them 830 kilos good uh, front to rear uh, weight balance 45 front 55 at the rear takes off very well um, despite the fact that you know as I was saying uh, a lot of its power is in the uh, upper reaches of the rev range um, and as you can see here I'm using the Wolfie spec um, tire setup but in reverse this time so I noticed when I did a bit of a shakedown that my rear tires were really getting burnt out so what I've done is um, it's a 10 lap race uh, and I've uh, you'll notice if you've got the mediums on the back the acceleration performance is better but what I've done is I've put hards on the back uh, to try and save on that wear it is a little bit slower but I've used that for six laps which means that by the end of my first stint um, those rear tires aren't going to be absolutely toast and then when I pit I go in and I just change them to medium front and rear and just 
absolutely smash out the last four laps as much as I can. And that seemed to work for me. So our front body height adjustment is 55 and the rear 65. Um, front anti-roll bar 7, rear 9. Uh, dampening ratio compression at the front 25 rear 35 expansion 35 at the front and 46 at the rear natural frequency 4.50 at the front 3.75 at the rear negative camber angle 1.5 at the front 1.0 at the rear so not much at the rear there toe angle is 0 0.10 outward at the front and 0 0.20 inward at the rear um, you might want to play around with that just depending on how it feels for you so for our differential, this comes stock with the car. Initial torque we've got all the way down and our acceleration sensitivity down to 10 and braking sensitivity down to 10 as well. And I found that just helps out with uh, preventing you from spinning. Uh, 964 for our front uh, downforce and 1470 for our rear. The ECU is the fully customizable ECU and that's uh, set to 100% on the output adjustment. We've got no ballast and our power restrictor is set to 100. Um, transmission, I've gone for the fully customizable racing transmission and initially just I've set this to 400 basically. Um, I did do a little bit of playing around with it but um, yeah look to be honest I find these things kind of okay where it is. Um, so you guys might want to play around with that a little bit um, but for the moment I've found this is pretty much bang on uh, what I want for this particular build. Now you can also use nitrous in this event. So chuck your nitrous on, um, yeah, and just, I'd say use it pretty sparingly. Um, the turbocharger we've gone for is the high RPM turbocharger because that's the only one available. Um, and I always chuck on the handbrake, but the important part is the brake balance. So throw your brake balance forward. You need it to save the rear tires um, on this event and on this car. Um, so that's definitely something you're going to need to do, but that's all the changes we're going to need to make for this car as you can see And now I did initially uh, Just today actually took it out and tried it out on one of the new uh, weekly events There's a new weekly event available, which is a WTC 900 um, And yeah, we found that pretty cool as well um, but the main reason we had this was to take it to Europe and obviously to Le Mans for this one right here, well not that one, that's the one we usually do, but this one, the WTC 900 new event and um, you know I think it's been sorely missed in this game, um, having an event where we can use this tier of car for this particular event, 10 laps seems absolutely perfect, um, as I said I'm using the uh, Wolfie spec tyre setup for my opening stint so that my rear tyres are going to last a little bit longer but you guys might want to use medium front and rear or whatever. Um, just work out what's you know what works best for you um, The only downside I'd say to this event is that they haven't made the payout quite high enough uh, But it is a blast and look it's still 400,000 credits um, And you know, it's something different. So uh, Look, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a chance to use these cars at full power um, And you know, you've got things like nitrous in there. You've got a whole bunch of different cars in a way it kind of feels um, like, you know, you've, it's multi-class racing at Le Mans, which is what it is, you know. Um, so, yeah, definitely worth having a go at. Um, and, you know, I think you guys will really enjoy it. It's a whole lot of fun. And I think it's just going to open up a whole new tier of stuff for us to do um, on this game now, having events like this. I've noticed they've put in a couple of uh, 900, WTC 900 events um, over, you know, the last few months or whatever. And uh, yeah, I'd invite them to bring on more, but just maybe pay us a bit more. So yeah, as you can see, this thing's absolutely massive. It, it flies down the straights. You can rev the guts out of this thing. And thankfully being a Group 1 car, it's... Uh, it's not going to kill your petrol too much. Um, as far as the Group C's are concerned, the 787B is actually pretty good on both fuel and on tyres, surprisingly enough. Um, so yeah, I mean, while with um, some other cars, uh, prototypes especially, um, you know, you might not get so much rear uh, tyre wear. Um, yeah, I think this, fun this thing's just fun to use for this event. So as I was saying, I did six laps with the hards on the back and then just came in, uh, filled up the tank. Uh, there was very minimal um, fuel saving to be done to make it last six laps. And uh, yeah, 
I was off again with mediums on the front and the rear this time and then just smashed out another four laps um, and this time I'm able to use nitrous so you know you'll see that the um, the top speed down the straights is now absolutely enormous so you're getting up to like what is it sort of 300 and let's have a look 20 30 40 50 60 pretty much to 370 kilometers an hour um, so yeah that's massive and uh, yeah look it's it's a whole lot of fun the main thing is I would definitely suggest buying this car um, you're gonna want it from a collector's standpoint um, in this game but uh, to me it's just an absolutely iconic car on an iconic track and um, yeah a combo that I think we should have had in this game a long time ago uh, this is one that I've been doing with mates for ages. We'd all just grab a Group C car of our choosing and jump on Le Mans and do sort of like 10 laps or something like that. And it's so much fun. Um, yeah, definitely something you'd probably want to do in VR as well. Uh, I know it looks absolutely awesome. So we'd go on to knock that over in just under 35 minutes. But yeah, I found it was 35 minutes of uh, racing that I really enjoyed. Um, as you can see there we're doing like 3 minute 19 laps um, and yeah it's just some great good fun uh, single player racing I find this event maybe doesn't pay the best as you can see um, and hopefully you know uh, PD might look at you know uh, giving us some better paying races in future but I'm not going to hold my breath so yeah be sure to like and subscribe guys uh, I hope you like that one and um, yeah enjoy it go out and have some fun and make a mint and until next time, take care guys. Bye.